Well, going back to this morning, our low temperatures were in the 50s. That is unseasonably warm for this time of the year. And as we checked the highs this afternoon, it warmed up pretty quickly as we saw 70s and a lot of 80s scattered around there. And that's 15 degrees or more above the normal for this time of the year. Temperatures right now are still in the 70s across East Texas, and we are picking up a stronger south wind at this point. Right now, the sustained winds shown here are as high as 23 there in uh, Tyler, uh, 26 miles per hour in Corsicana and the DFW area and you add in the wind gust and it's gusting to near 40 miles per hour around uh, the Metroplex and Corsicana and in the 30s and a number of, number of other places and those gusts are going to go up even a little bit more as we go through the night. We're free of rain in East Texas right now but uh, not the western sections of North Texas as we have a solid line of strong thunderstorms, a lot of severe storms in that stretching from around San Angelo up through the Abilene vicinity on up to Wichita Falls and then northward from there into Oklahoma and a number of tornado warnings have been issued on those storms as well, as that extends all the way up into Kansas and Nebraska at this point. Does look like that line, at least the tail end of it, is forecast to weaken before it gets into our area, so we're not anticipating severe storms, but we might hear a little bit of thunder as we go into the overnight hours. The severe outlook is mainly there, as you see, for Oklahoma, but it does stretch up into Missouri and even uh, touches parts of the St. Louis area there and the western sections of Illinois. But again, East Texas outside of that area of forecast severe weather for the nighttime hours. National satellite and radar as we look down on that system, you can see it has been moving eastward rapidly across the Panhandle South Plains area and on into Oklahoma and up as far north as the Omaha vicinity. As future cast shows, that front is going to be on the back on the west side of our area by midnight tonight. And again, just a few showers are possible with a little bit of thunder in that as it moves through East Texas, but by lunchtime tomorrow, everything will be over for us, at least as far as the uh, potential for any type of uh, nasty weather. We'll continue with any type of uh, wind gusts, though, being pretty strong for the first couple of days of the week, but those days should be dry. But as we get into Wednesday, we expect to see another area of showers and perhaps some thunderstorms develop. And then as some instability moves into the area and that front approaches from the west on Thursday, by Thursday night, we'll start to develop some showers and thunderstorms in our area. Area, and there is a potential, at least right now, that some of that could be severe. Of course, this has got a few days to change and probably will change in one form or another as uh, we get closer to that. But at least right now, we're looking for the potential for severe storms in East Texas, mainly late on Thursday. Tonight, we're looking for 56 overnight showers, a few thunderstorms possible after midnight. South winds 15 to 30, gusts up to 45 miles per hour, 40% chance we could see some of those showers. And then tomorrow, we're looking for a high of 72. Sun will be out. West winds 5 to 15, gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Next seven days, showers and thunderstorms return at midweek. Another nice end to the week there as we get into the weekend. Things will be looking a little bit cooler, but we'll also see some sunshine. Check that forecast anytime at our website, fox51.com.